it's I I'm a little worried, and I'll talk about this later. But maybe some of the trends to distribute um, too many activities over too many systems, in that um, you can get lost, and you uh, it it it, acts, it adds an extra load of finding passwords, finding your way around that you don't necessarily need on the internet. Things that are far apart and in different systems can be brought together and may look like they are part of one thing. And Moodle um, does that. It has ways to bring in stuff from all over the internet into one place. And it always has. Um, I don't think people maybe even use that enough, but um, it, it's, uh, it, the point of it is to be somewhere where the course is defined. The fourth point there, it's about supporting teachers with their teaching. And this is critical to me. Education, I believe, is best when you have teachers. And you can see from the facilitators in this course um, that you know good teachers make all the difference. Uh, I love teachers. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I think with a world of seven billion people, why would we why would be we be trying to do away with teachers and communication and, and uh, communities? Um, which is so essentially human, it doesn't matter what technology we happen to be using, whether it's a classroom or a phone or uh, I actually did my early schooling on um, uh, School of the Air, which was a shortwave radio um, school. Uh, or the internet, it doesn't matter what you're using. Um, if you've got a person there who's giving you feedback and interacting and actually cares about you and has taken the time to understand about what you know and help you through the next steps, um, there's nothing better and um, you know we have all these people in the world and yet so many computer scientists seem to be focusing on artificial intelligence solutions and ways of automating and uh, I just I really just don't like that approach I love teachers however Moodle is there to support teachers with their teaching so my goal there is to, to make tools that um, reduce the effort and you know, ideally, and I, I don't think Moodle's there yet. Uh, I don't think very much technology's there, there yet. Ideally, technology should kind of just melt away. So you're not even thinking about particular software. But it's supporting you all the time. Um, it's also, of course, important to support learners with their learning. And um, I would say right now Moodle doesn't do that as well as it could either. Um, but it, it is one of the focuses, and it's one one big focus for the future. Um, it does it supports learners in many ways by you know, concentrating things into places, um, and by giving you um, a feed of information that you know, so that you know what what's coming up next, and you know what's going on. But uh, there's still a lot more we can do there. But that's an important goal. Second last point there is that Moodle should be able to scale to any size needed. So if you are um, teaching a course with five people and you suddenly have an opportunity to make it extend to 5,000 people, it shouldn't be um, a problem. And there's nothing internally into Moodle that actually um, stops it scaling to any size. And there are some courses that people run on Moodle that have hundreds of thousands of, of students. Um, but uh, as you get bigger and bigger, you need um, better tools and more support for teachers to be able to cope. Um, and lastly, and this is really critical, is that because of the open source platform, we invite the users of Moodle to contribute to Moodle. And those people have the opportunity to contribute to education globally. So most of the things that you see in Moodle were not written by me personally. Most of the things that are now in Moodle, uh, you know, now it's got to this size, have actually been contributed by the community. And they're written by teachers, um, developers, uh, sometimes institutions and corporate type companies as well. But all sorts of contributors to the community have contributed the different features that you see. And really, um, it's Moodle, uh, you know, my company and myself, it's our job to integrate that into one system and to make it a platform, but to also give everyone this opportunity to contribute. And I don't think there's anything better, really, than, than having an idea and then building some tool based on that idea and then having people using it. I just think that's like, you know, for me, that's, that's why I'm alive, basically. And I, there's a lot of other people, I think, who really enjoy that as well. And it's so nice for them to have 
an opportunity to do that and to, to give everything out to Moodle, through the Moodle community. So um, that's the vision for Moodle in the future. We're not there yet. We're still pushing towards this ever more perfect vision. And, uh, and so that's really good. Now, I was asked to speak a bit about MOOCs. And maybe you can see from the, what I've been saying is that I, I don't really think there's anything stopping anybody using Moodle as to run a MOOC. A MOOC is not so much a particular um, particular pedagogy, although you can use particular pedagogies if you want. And it's not even a particular way, a technology, and it's not a particular a way of running a course even. Um, it's a, a massively open online course. And I think um, despite what the originators of that term meant, um, it's clear that the, the, the term is being applied to so many different things. Um, I, I, I love to see, I'd love to see Moodle in MOOC. Um, and so that's why this really caught my interest, what's going on here, that I want to come along and, uh, and uh, help out. It's, you know, from my point of view, Moodle.org, which is our community website, is kind of my MOOC. Um, Ten or so years ago, when I really got that site going, the, the intention from the very beginning was to have a place where developers and users of the software could be learning from each other. And so the forums are set up as a place, um, particularly kind of smooshing all those people together, teachers and learners, both ways that is. So developers are learning from the users while the users are learning from developers and everyone's learning from each other. Um, and that's been a self-sustaining community of practice for 10 years. 